Hey, my name is Danny De La Rosa. I'm a realtor with Karen Realty Group. Hi, and I'm Petya Popova McLaughlin with Guaranteed Rate. Um, so today we want to talk about the VA Guaranteed Loan. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a veteran. I served five years in the Marine Corps, and I used my VA loan on my first home that I purchased. Um, and now that I'm a realtor and I'm in an industry, I have some questions that I, I wish I would have asked and some things I wish I would have known when I did purchase my home. Uh, so who better to ask these questions to than uh, Petya, yeah, a certified VA loan um, specialist. Thank so, you. Yeah, of course, of course. So Pat, yeah, what, first and foremost, what is the, the VA loan? A VA loan is a home loan that uh, lenders originate, but it's guaranteed by the Veterans Administration. Okay, okay. And uh, who's eligible for it? Like if, I, if I'm a, a young Marine, uh, am I eligible for the, for the VA loan when I'm at a boot camp or how does that work? Yes, if you're active duty and you have served minimum six months and you're a veteran, you're eligible for a VA loan. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and what's what's so great about the VA loan? Why is uh, why is it such a rate? You know, man, where do I start? Um, number one, the rates are amazing. Number two, you can buy a home with zero percent down payment, which is great. Okay. There is no mortgage um, insurance, so it is the golden ticket. Nice, nice. And I heard something about PMI and how you can avoid it. What's the what's the big thing there with the VA loan? So uh, the conventional and FHA loans do have mortgage insurance and VA loans do not have mortgage insurance. So if you're comparing the payment on a VA loan, you're probably on average two to $400 cheaper a month because you don't have mortgage insurance. And that's a big difference when you, when you compare that to a conventional yeah. loan, right? And to qualify as well, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, speaking of qualifying, what are, what are some requirements that, that go into getting a VA loan? Um, There's a common misconception the VA loans are more difficult or you have to have more um, things to qualify. It really is, is very easy. One of the things that um, unlike conventional loans, the minimum credit score is 580. Okay. So if you have somebody that has some blemishes on the credit, we can still do a loan. Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, we look at the residual income. We want to see after you pay all the bills how much money you have and it has to be enough to, to live and uh, the rest of it is super easy okay okay and if i'm uh you know if i was out there trying to get a, a home how much money should i have saved up as a veteran uh, when coming to 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 you to get a loan now that's a great question because in the healthy market we usually try to get the veteran with zero out of pocket we have the seller pay for the closing costs or a portion of uh, paid by the lender keep mm -hmm. in mind that if the seller pays for the closing cost, that's usually at the cost of a little higher purchase price. And if the lender pays, it's, a, it's at the cost of a higher interest rate. So ideally in a perfect world, you wanna have enough save for the closing cost, but it's not necessary. Okay, that's, that's really good news um, for those of you that aren't you know filled with cash like everybody in San Diego uh, seems to be. Um, now we won't dig too deep into the FHA loan. Uh, we'll save that for another video, but can you tell us uh, a big difference between the FHA loan and the VA loan? Like why is a veteran should I pick the VA loan versus, you know, uh, a federally housed, um, you know, loan? Perfect, so number one is the down payment. On a VA loan, you have zero down, so you can't beat that. Um, the rates are about the same. The second thing is the mortgage insurance, which makes the FHA loan very expensive, and it's for life, it's forever. For as long as you have that loan, you, you're gonna have mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm. And three, you maxed out at the uh, FHA maximum loan limit. In San Diego County, that's $879,250. But with a VA, you can buy up to two million with zero down. So that's it can awesome. be done. That's very cool. Um, now, Let's uh, let's talk about the benefits of the the VA loan. Um, when we're talking about rates, like, what's the difference between a conventional loan and a VA loan? Um, rate when, yeah, competing with rates. Um, I mean, on average, it's about half a point better mm -hmm. on the rate. Okay. And uh, and conventional loans are very credit score driven, where VAs are not. So if somebody has a perfect credit in conventional loan, they're gonna get a really good rate. On a VA, you have to have absolutely um, it doesn't matter if you have 680 or uh, 720, you're gonna mm -hmm. have the same rate. So it's not as sensitive to the credit score it is, uh, as conventional loans. Okay, awesome. And I heard you uh, talk about the, the lifespan of the VA loan. How many times can I use the VA loan as a veteran? Uh, mm -hmm. Does it, do I have it forever? Is it like one and gone? What's the, what's the deal there? Yeah, so you can use it as many times as you need, mm -hmm. um, as long as you have paid the old loan and you have restored your entitlement, or if you have remaining entitlements on your, so for example, you have, uh, you have a home on the East Coast, 
you bought it and you still have remaining because in San Diego we our um, loan amounts are higher so mm -hmm. you still have enough so you can still purchase a home with the remaining entitlement that's awesome <laughs> um, so now there are some misconceptions out there um, I'm sure if you're a listing agent or, or a realtor you've uh, you've come across this um, with VA loans now some listing agents do get VA loans and for whatever reason they uh, see a VA offer and they mm -hmm. throw it to the bottom of the pile yes um, can you just shed some light for for me and all the veterans out there and some listing agents or, or sellers out there why they should choose a VA loan like why they shouldn't just discard it and mm -hmm. and kind of push off to the side I think number one comes down to education that's why we need people like you that can um, educate the listing agent or the seller that this offer is just as good as anybody else if anything in this market it's easier to get a VA loan approved because the debt to income ratios are not as strict as it, it will be a conventional or jumbo if we go in a higher loan amount. Um, we can close them just as fast. There is nothing that the seller needs to pay extra. And also um, the appraisal is not as scary as, uh, as most agents think. So if uh, side by side, I think they're the same, if not better than a conventional or jumbo. Offer. Okay, yeah, Spe speaking of appraisals and inspections, that's what I believe the, the listing agents out there are scared of. Mm -hmm. um, what does that look like? What does the process look like for a VA inspection and appraisal? So VA appraisal is a little bit of a combination between the regular appraisal and inspection because the appraiser is going to look for health and safety hazards such as peeling paint. They're uh, dangerous. But other than that, there really is no difference um, in, in, in anything else. The, the veteran is allowed to bridge the gap between the appraised value and the purchase price. Mm -hmm. So there really is no downside for the seller or the listing agent to go with a VA offer. That's amazing news. So if you're, if you're listening and you're a listing agent, uh, don't throw that VA offer down <laughs> in the bottom of the pile. you got to support the veterans. That's right. What, what better way to support our country than to, to accept a VA offer? Um, now, we're, again, we're not going to touch too much on investing on this video. We can leave that for another video. But um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can only use your VA loan for uh, primary residence. Is there any way that you can invest? with a VA loan. Um, if, I was a, if I was a young Marine and I wanted to kind of maximize my, my equity mm -hmm. and just my stance in the marketplace, is there any way to do that with a VA loan? Well, VA is very strict about saying that you cannot use the VA uh, entitlement to accumulate properties. Mm -hmm. However, one way around it, if you buy a multi-unit, maybe two units, three units, up to four units, and we can use the rental income to offset the payments, and we're subject to the maximum uh, loan limits in the county like in San Diego you can buy a three um, unit home and the loan could be up to 1.3 million and some change and with zero down mm -hmm. so that allows you to build more properties per se with using it one time just some closing thoughts here um, the VA loan has a zero percent down for any veterans that are out there right yes. uh, it's a great opportunity to invest into a home and uh, build equity for your future and for um, any any of your family members as well and then for listing agents don't disregard those those VA offers are amazing support your veterans and uh, you know those offers might be as good as a conventional offer that comes in now what are the first steps that a v, like a, a service member or a veteran have to take to get approved for the VA loan the first one is you have to talk to a specialist you got to talk to a loan officers that, um, that understand um, VA loans and you have to partner up with a good real estate agent that also knows how to present the VA offer and get it accepted. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pet You're Right Here is, uh, specializes in VA loans. Plus guys, step one and step two are totally free for you. These services are absolutely free. You can come to either one of us and we won't charge you a thing to educate you on the VA loan or anything that has to do with um, applying for a loan or looking for homes. Uh, so step one, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I agree with what you said, education. That's right. number one. Find as much information as you can. Mm -hmm. And then um, are there any tips that you would give to a VA uh, buyer out there that's watching this video um, that, that might help them in the future if they do decide to buy a home? Whenever you're ready to buy, reach out to uh, a professional to get an idea if we need to work on the credit. And we have many of those uh, situations where we have to work on the credit six months, a year, however long it takes to get you ready mm -hmm. and put the plan together so we can um, help you start your financial future here with zero down. That's amazing. <laughs> I appreciate Petya. And then um, 
if I'm a young Marine and I am choosing whether to buy a home or rent a home, um, what would you say to that if I, if I came up to you? If you're paying market rent mm -hmm. or you're living in military housing, which is very expensive, you should buy. Because okay. if you compare, and we can talk about it in another video, uh, rent versus buy, it always is better to buy. Not to mention the fact that your payment is fixed and nobody will tell you when it can or cannot move, but you're building your financial future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there, it's not all uh, butterflies and, and flowers. Uh, you still do have the responsibility of owning a home, but that also comes with the pride of ownership. So there are benefits to home ownership out there. Um, and you're, you're paying your own mortgage, right? You don't want to be paying somebody else's mortgage when you're, yeah. <laughs> when you're paying rent. Um, so Petya, I do appreciate you uh, answering these questions and uh, educating the people out there on the VA loan. Um, who knows, uh, one of these VA buyers might need this, uh, this information to kind of move them towards buying a home. Um, now, if, uh, if they did have questions, where would they be able to find you? Feel free to call me or email me and my contacts will be at the end of the video. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I'll leave my contact information at the end of the video as well. And if you guys have any questions or just wanna talk about the VA loan, please feel free to call either uh, Petya or me and we'll educate you on the process. Thank you. All right, bye. <laughs>